the Heavenly Father, I who the word enemy calls God, uh is the only begotten son, who the word enemy calls uh, Jesus Christ. Alright. I will give all honor, praise, and glory to them. Alright, I want to say double honor to the positive elders of Great Millstone, who will well. I want to say peace, blessing, and safety. Alright. Uh, honors also um to all the Akiyama around the world, pushing this word in truth and sincerity, all right. The hope for that, man. Okay. Um I want to say peace, blood, and safety also to the one third remnant, which consists of men, women, and children. All right, your brother, your call from the Men of Valley, South Carolina camp. Come back with another lesson. All right, this one's going to be a little quick hit, you know. You know, because it's, uh, you know, just flowing through the spirit, you know, it's Saturday. All right. On um, this day, most brothers around the world go out. Some brothers go out on a different day. You know, we go out um, getting ready uh, to head out to camp in like an hour or so. You know, just, uh, just getting in the spirit, man. I'm uh, about to do another uh, little quick lesson, okay? Um, just about to go in on how uh, things that was written in the scriptures were written for our learning, okay? All the trials and tribulations that the uh, apostles and prophets and, and the scriptures went through, and that was written for our learning, man. So when we go through the things, we can look back at it like, all right, man, the things we go through uh, today is nothing what they went to, all right? Uh, for example, uh, look at uh, John, John the Baptist, man. All right, look what he went through. Look what how Shai went through. And, and look what Stephen went through. And we can go on and on, but those things were written, written for our learning, okay? So this is going to be a little uh, quick. Uh, I don't want to this out. This is uh, edifying. It's Romans 15 and 4. But whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. All right, see, I got just, you know, things that I was written with, um, before time were written for our learning, so we can learn from them, right? and we can endure. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. <laughs> That's what give us hope, man, these scriptures, man. You no, know, without these scriptures, man, we will not have no hope, man. Living in this society, man, fucking struggling, man. Let me check the check, man. We can Jake fucked up out here, man. And without these scriptures, man, all right, without this, man, all right, we wouldn't have no hope, man. There would be no hope, man. You know, this is the spirit and power of your how about you We wouldn't have no hope through that, man. We'll be fucked up, all right? So let's get into, you know, a couple of these words mean real quick. All right, look up some words, man. And all you scholars and scorners, you niggas wouldn't even be looking up words uh, if it weren't for the apostles and elders, man, okay? Uh, so like it. So like it, I can bear with me, Baba Kasha. All right, uh, let's look up. Uh, let's look up this word, patience. Okay. Let's look at this word, patience, in the Greek. Okay. All right, that's how you say it right there. I don't know how to say it. So like it, if I'm saying it wrong. Hupomona. Okay, probably saying it wrong a lot. All right, but let's see what this word means. All right, uh, it's the word uh, patience, okay? Uh, it says steadfastness, consistency, endurance, okay? That's what we have, man, through, through these scriptures. All right, and this is a real good definition right here. It says, in the New Testament, the characteristic of a man who is not swerved from his deliberate purpose. What's our purpose? To push this word, all right? Uh, through our, um, make our call and election sure, push this word, wake up the hope for elect so we can get out of here, man, so we can get to the kingdom. That's our deliberate purpose, man. Push this truth, man, okay? With sincerity and truth. And his loyalty to faith and piety, it's a lot of, I'm saying that word wrong, by, it's a lot, by even, it's a lot here by even the greatest trials and suffering, all right? Through, through our greatest trials and suffering, man, we have to keep our, our, we can't get swerved from our deliberate purpose, man. All right, through even our greatest trials and sufferings, man, we can't uh, let that uh, deliberate us from our purpose. What's our purpose? Uh, pushing his truth, man, you know? That's our purpose as men, all right? As Israelite men, all right? Who are Israelite men? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. 
All right, granted, not every man is a prophet. Some men are uh, helps, you know, but still, you do what you can do for this truth, you know? It says patient and steadfast, okay? That's the one I get, man. Uh, the, this man one right here, man. Steadfast, constance, constancy, so like it, endurance, okay? All right, and, and you know, not getting swerved from my deliberate purpose, man. All right? You know? All right, that's our patience, man. All right. Through patience and comfort of the scriptures, we might have hope. All right. Now let's let's see if this word hope is, man. All right. Let's see if this word hope is. All right. Uh, El peace. Okay, it's a lot from saying that wrong, you know. It says expectation of evil, fear. You got expectation of evil. You know, martial arts coming, uh, chip coming, famine, pestilence, uh, race wars. We know all that's coming. Expectation of good, hope. Uh, we know we got the kingdom of heaven to come. All right? It says, joyful and confident expectation of eternal salvation, man. You're going to have eternal salvation in the kingdom of heaven, man. That is uh, uh, is like men, all right, hope, man. The men that the hope for elect, man. All right? That's our... Uh, that's our uh, eternal. That's our. Uh, that's our hope, man. Ex eternal salvation. That is our hope. You know. That's our. Uh, that's our. Uh, that's our hope. Eternal salvation, man. Okay. You know. So, you know, through patience and comfort of the scripture, we might have a hope. You know. That's what we got. Hope and patience. All right. Now let's get a couple of examples of things that were written aforetime. time. All right. Now I'm gonna read this definition of faith. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now, we just uh, went to what hope is, okay? We just went to what hope was, okay? Just went to what hope was, all right? This is what hope is, a joyful and confident expectation of eternal salvation, all right? So now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And that's what we have. We have faith. We have hope. All right. The evidence of things not seen. All right. Even though we've seen some, we see chariots, but we haven't seen Yahweh Shai yet. We haven't seen Yahweh. But we see, uh, uh, you know, we see the signs. All right. But, you know, it's a lot for rambling. Let's just get into a couple of examples of things that were written aforetime. All right. By faith. Noah being warned of the most high of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became here of righteousness, which is by faith. All right. Written a four time, you know, the story of Noah. Uh, verse uh, Hebrews 11 and 8. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing whither he went. Okay, all right. You know, a another story uh uh written a four time. You know, okay. You know, hey, let's see what the, even a the woman man Sarah had uh things that Sarah were written before time. Okay, all right. You know, and there's a lot of things. I read one more. By faith, Jacob when he was dying blessed both the sons of Joseph and worshipped, leaning upon the top of his staff. All right. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. All right. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. All right. So those are some things that were written a four time. We could keep going on and on about this, man. All right. Spirit jump on me. I might do another uh, part two to this, man, because there's so much more we can get into about the things that were written a four time, man. All right. So let me read the um, scripture I started off with, and I'm going to close it out with that. All right. Um, Romans 15 and 4, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Okay, we just went through some things that were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Okay, so these things in the scripture were written for our, our learning, that we have patience and comfort of the scriptures, man. All right. So with that, I want to say, call Halal Yahweh by Shimei Asha. Shalom.